Those of us that shop at the Dollar Tree, we shop there because we can't afford these items at regular stores. Hey fam, welcome back, welcome back to another video. This is Shauna and I'm officially checking in over here at Moments with us. Of course, always checking in from New Jersey. So a few updates, um, some recalls and some more info. So stay tuned for that. You guys check in, let us know where you are watching from and how you are doing. Let's go ahead and head into today's video. Let's go. All right, so here's some information about Robotussin being recalled. I know how some of us have been stockpiling medication, so this might be one that you just might want to toss out. So let's go ahead and see which Robotussin medications have been recalled. Let's pull it up right now. All right, so jumping right into the Robotussin. Thank you so much. Happy Grandma for Roof P um, for sending this over. So Robotussin products recall nationwide due to microbial contamination, you guys. Um, so if you have any of this, you can toss it out of or, of course, take it back. So Robotussin is voluntarily recalling eight lots of its cough syrup due to microbial contamination, the manufacturer announced on Wednesday. Though there have not been no reports of any reactions related to the recall, they're still recalling. So the recall do include six lots of Robotussin Honey CF Max Day Adult four ounce and eight ounce bottles and two lots of Robotussin Honey CF Max Adult in eight ounces. One lot of the daytime cough syrup in four ounces was recalled. Um, so the lot number here is T10810, which expires October 31st, 2025. Five lots of daytime cough syrups in eight ounces were recalled, including T08730, T08731, T08732, and T0733. Um, all which expire May 31st, 2025. So lot number as well, T10808 expires September 30th, 2025. Also, the two lots of nighttime cough syrup recall T08740, T08742, both expiring June 30th of 2026. Six company said it is notifying the distributors and customers directly of the microbial contamination and is providing instructions on how to return the recall products. But what if it's already done and it's already consumed? Do you still get your money back? The potential effect from ingesting these contaminated products would be especially severe for immunocompromised individuals for whom the use of the affected product could potentially result in severe or life-threatening adverse events or disseminated fungal infection in non-immunocompromised consumers, the population most likely to use the product, life-threatening infections are not likely to occur. However, the occurrence of an infection that may necessitate medical intervention cannot be completely ruled out. But... Of course, if you do have any signs or symptoms of something ain't right, go get it checked out, especially if you know that you consume Robotussin. Um, so they basically encourage co consumers to contact their healthcare providers with any problems and to report, of course, any reactions to the FDA. This way they can go ahead and update the list and say, well, yeah, this person got a reaction because of, you know, Robotussin and they have the microbial um, and their Robotussin. So, yeah. So that's it. Robotussin products recall nationwide due to microbial contamination. Aldi. Some of y'all do love Aldi and shopping at Aldi. I personally... Aldi be a hit or a miss with me. Um, though I don't mind going there, it's just a hit or miss. Um, but yeah, so here's some news about Aldi. They just bought out, I think, Win Dixie. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with them. All right, so Aldi is buying Win Dixie. So the sale is not final as of yet. But as we go into 2020, well. As we continue into 2024, um, <laughs> yeah, that's going to be happening. So Aldi did announce its intentions to purchase Southeastern grocer stores, including Winn-Dixie and Harvey supermarkets. 
and August. So an Aldi spokesperson did say that Aldi and Southeastern Grocers remain separate companies for now. Companies, um, they will continue to operate independently until the transaction closes. So Aldi is set to go ahead and bottom out, well, 400 stores, primarily in Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Louisiana, and Mississippi, some of which can be converted to the Aldi shopping format. So as the company's near a final deal, so they're about to go ahead and close this deal. Um, it's expected to be completed in the first half of 2024. By summertime, we'll be halfway there through the year. So here's what they know so far. So is when dixie going out of business? No, but the company will be purchased from current owner, um, Southeastern Grocers. Who bought Winn-Dixie? Winn-Dixie in 2012 became a property of Southeastern Grocers, which planned to sell the company to Aldi this year. So Winn-Dixie Pharmacy going away. So Aldi, we know Aldi's do not deal with pharmacies. They don't do medications or none of that. So Aldi deals, deals about Winn-Dixie doesn't include pharmacies. Um, So they probably have to just go somewhere else. So let's go ahead and see if they got any updates. So the deal includes only 400 so far, Win Dixie and Harvey's, which we already discussed. And when will my Win Dixie become an Aldi? They said not necessarily. So some Win Dixie stores will be converted into the Aldi format. Those that do not will continue to operate as Winn-Dixie. Aldi is evaluating which Winn-Dixie stores will convert to Aldi format. So according to an Aldi spokesperson, will convert a significant amount to the Aldi format after the deal is approved. Over the course of several years, however, a meaningful amount of Winn-Dixie stores will continue to operate under their respective banners. So I guess like for the Winn-Dixies that's doing very, very well, they don't want to touch what's not broken, basically. And for the win Dixies, that's underperforming because that's the term that they love. Before the, you know, when they shut stuff down, due to underperforming stores, we have to close this location and other, you know, that that's basically how it goes. They use the word underperforming. Um, they go ahead and they shut that down. So if the store is doing pretty well. You know, they probably won't touch it because it doesn't make sense um, financially wise. Why close something misses if it's thriving? So with this acquisition, our focus will be to continue to serve Southeast shoppers and provide unchanged access to quality, affordable groceries to more markets in the Southeast. But that's what they're saying now. That's that's just what they're saying now. But they would be closing a large amount of these Win Dixies and actually converting them to the Aldi's. So, how are all these stores different from Win Dixie? So, an average of Aldi is about twenty-two thousand square feet, while Win Dixie stores average about forty-eight thousand square feet. Um. So, will my groceries be back after Aldi buys Win Dixie? That's a good question. So, at converted Win Dixie stores in twenty twenty-four. Expect the Aldi experience, okay, including bagging your own groceries and using coins to rent the carts. The company hasn't said what will happen at stores operating under the Winn-Dixie banner after the transaction closes. But I think all the Winn-Dixies that they are buying out would lose that pharmacy department. So will my Winn-Dixie loyalty card still work? There are no plans to change the Winn-Dixie Rewards Program, which can include swiping for buy one, get one offers or getting points on the app for free grocery items. All right, and that's pretty much it. So major changes come going on with Winn-Dixie and Harvey soon. They're saying yes. All right, so those are some of the changes that's going to be made. They most likely would be losing their pharmacies um, and for those stores to remain being when Dixie's, you can still use your loyalty card. So they're saying it's going to take several years before a lot of the stores actually be converted to Aldi anyway. Um, but right about now, plan for the next time you go to Win Dixie in a couple of months, maybe it would be in Aldi. So 400 stores. So this is, this is going to be 
all the in Harvey's grocers, y'all. So 400 stores across these states would be converted to an Aldi. Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Louisiana, and Mississippi. If you're located in those states, soon you might miss out on seeing your Winn-Dixie or your Harvey's supermarket. Those of us that shop at the Dollar Tree, we shop there because we can't afford these items at regular stores. So this lady states that wealthy influencers are ruining the shopping experience for poor people at Dollar Tree. And here's why. Girls out to all the girls out there who are making these Dollar Tree finds, Dollar Tree hacks videos. As someone who actually shops at the Dollar Tree because they have to, um, I'm here to say politely stop. Just stop making those videos. Those of us that shop at the Dollar Tree, we shop there because we can't afford these items at regular stores. So you don't need to make these videos because those of us that are shopping there because we have to, we know, we know what products they sell. It's my day to run errands. I go to my local Dollar Tree to pick up some items that I know I can find there, that I know I buy there because I can afford them there. And what do I see? Bare shelves, bare shelves all the way down the line. And it just so happens that I saw a video pop up on my For You page two or three videos actually of girls going down grabbing 10 20 30 items dollar tree finds you know oh come get these at the dollar tree and that's just crazy by itself because you guys are going there literally spending 30 40 50 dollars at the dollar store and like oh my god i got all this for 50 bucks like i walk in there with a 10 dollar limit okay i know what i'm getting i'm like you have a three item purchase limit today okay you can get three dollars worth of stuff and now that it's a trend, people who are already shopping at regular stores buying these items because they could just already afford them there. They don't shop at Dollar Tree. Why would they know they're there? Now it's just trendy to go and buy everything at Dollar Tree and make videos about Dollar Tree finds. I get it. We're not all there for the same things, but elderly people, people who are retired, living on social security, single mothers, single parents, large families, low income families, we go there to shop because we cannot afford things at regular stores. You guys are blowing up the spot and ruining it for all of us poor people, okay? And before anyone gets mad, anyone gets defensive, like, you don't know me, you don't know my life, you don't know what I spend my money on, and sometimes we have to cut corners at the Dollar Tree or, you know, whatever it is to afford other things in our lives. For example, lashes. I see lashes blowing up all the time. The ones I would get at the Dollar Tree and they're not there anymore. And like, I cannot afford lash extensions. I'm already shopping at the Dollar Tree for a reason. And now my lashes aren't there. Like what, do you just want us all to be like ugly? Look bald all the time? Like, please, you guys, just like save that stuff. Save it for us poor people, please. To all the girls out there who are making these Dollar Tree finds, Dollar Tree hacks videos, as someone who actually shops at the Dollar Tree because they so fam what do you all think about that I definitely get some of her points most definitely because a lot of poor people actually cannot afford to go into regular stores and buy items at regular price and they do have to find ways to make things work and Dollar Tree is a great option for those who cannot afford to shop elsewhere um yeah but that that makes sense it would it would cause some emptying of shells when certain videos do go viral and everybody at Dollar Tree and they trying to buy this, buy this, and buy that. But yet, this hack that this person did find, it can be useful for a lot of people who's trying to get something that they can't afford. But yet, this person made the exact same item with just like $2. $2 and change, of course. Of course, getting them two items from Dollar Tree. And you can have it too. The DIYs definitely helps out. Um, but yeah, so I'm kind of in the middle. But I also definitely get what she's um, saying. And I also feel her frustration as well. Because now, guess what? She can no longer find what she's looking for at Dollar Tree. So it is what it is. Let us know what you think about this though in the comments. Everyone is going to have something different to say. Please keep an open mind. Mm -hmm.